All right, y'all, because get in here so we can talk about this latest episode of Basketball Wives LA. Before we even get started, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, and get down in these comments because y'all already know we're going to have to talk about it. And let's go ahead and get into it. Now, we're kicking it off with Evelyn. She's looking for models for her maxi dressing line. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I just be thinking Evelyn's playing. I don't know what it is. I just be feeling like Evelyn's playing. I'm not saying that her fashions are not cute because, quite frankly, all the little two-piece sets that I've seen, the little um one-piece, what is her line? Is it athletic wear? Is it a onesie set? Like, what exactly is it? Whatever it is, though, it's cute. All her clothes been cute so far. Um, but now she is advancing it over into maxi dresses. And honestly, I think that's genius because if you do remember Evelyn and Jen from back in their earlier seasons when they was in Miami doing basketball wives, they they used to have some of the baddest maxi dresses, okay? They would have some of the baddest shit out. But that is also why I feel like, wait a minute. No, we can go ahead and talk about that right now. That's also why I feel like Evelyn is playing because when she does have her little fashion show, it's like the fashions don't hit. And I feel like if she's been put in the type of love and the type of money that she should have been into this shit, it would have been a lot farther than it is now. But maybe now with the exposure of her putting it on this on the show and getting some notoriety from the show getting some advertisement from the show that she'll get you know it'll get popping a little bit more i do have hope for i ain't saying that i was just saying you know i just be thinking evelyn playing in our face every season she just want to do something different girl first she was a pi now you got a legging line. Now you got a maxi dress line. It's just crazy. It's all over the place. But girl, I ain't even mad at you either. Cause go ahead and get your money however you can get it. You feel me? Jen and Christian, they walking this little dog. Basically, they talking this restitution, and Christian's let her know, uh, Big Mama, you need to get on it. You know, I need you to get on your lotto ship. I, I need to call you Big Mama. Love when they call me Big Mama. Like, come on. Because you need to make this money come. Every first of the month, they calling me and they want this money and this check. And my car be finna get declined. And you ain't doing nothing. Your movie ain't selling. Jen stressed out because the movie ain't selling. But I'm not even going to spend a whole lot of time here. Because I've already said to myself that if Jen don't see the light by now, she's never going to see it. And she's going to fuck around and really marry this little boy and let him make his problems her problems. And it's really going to be nothing that nobody else can do once she does that. She's dickmatized. Girl, y'all y'all know he been putting it on her. Him and his big ass head. He reminds me of Pee Wee from motherfucking baby kids. I don't know what it is about him, but he looks like what Pee Wee would have grew up to look like out of that motherfucking pamper and the shit that he's pulling is the same kind of shit i would expect a badass grown baby to be pulling we'll get into that later on in the episode so let's go uh-uh uh-uh i'm not talking about them no more Jocelyn, she's taking swim classes and i honestly think that this was a fun scene that they kind of snuck in on us she's learning how to swim before they go to mexico and she bought brandy along and brandy real hyped up she like you know i'm a i'm a sports mom so Anytime my friends hit me up and they want to learn to do something like this or whatever, I'm here to cheer you on. And I honestly thought this was adorable. Uh, Jocelyn in the water looking like, a, you know, I can't even say she looked like a baby because babies naturally know how to swim. Jocelyn didn't know what the hell was going on in that water. But it was just a cute scene. When she got out, they sat down and they were basically talking the whole situation with Brooke and Brandy and Evelyn because I still didn't know what the hell was going on. It was her wedding. She wasn't over there when Evelyn got up and went and told Brooke everything Brandy was talking about. And I am still under the belief that I do not feel like Brandy really did anything super wrong. Um, yeah, she could have gave Brooke a chance to tell Jen herself that she had broke up with the dude, but because the whole group had already been talking about this shit as a collective and this is going to come up again later, y'all. I don't think Brandy really did a, a lot wrong, but Jocelyn gave her some good advice when Jocelyn said, you know, sometimes you just got to let people do what they want to do. And that's real shit. People are going to do what they want to do anyway. So, yes, you are being a good friend by voicing your opinion once and saying if you don't agree with something or if you see a red flag, it is your job as a friend, a good friend to tell them, you know, hey, I don't think this is kind of the best thing to do. 
but I'm going to support you regardless. That's how you end that. If you're somebody's friend, you let them make their own decisions because that's the reality of it is they're going to make them anyway and they're going to do what they want to do anyway, but you just let them know that you're going to be there to support them either way this shit go. Whether it go right or left, I'm going to be here for you. And don't be the one to say, I told you so if it goes wrong because nobody likes that including you yourself when you are telling somebody I told you so if you were in their shoes you wouldn't want nobody telling you that so you know I appreciate y'all still for giving her that advice because that was true as well now Jackie Miso with Evelyn everybody's shocked about this shit the way Evelyn been going so hard but Jackie all season you the one that sat up hardest motherfucking private eye pretended like you was interested in being a private eye all so you can go and try to make up with her later y'all meet up and they even hug when they first come in you know it starts off cordial i don't think either of them want to beef with the other i'm gonna tell you why i feel like jackie is main character energy and evelyn is main character energy both of them know that they make a show Evelyn might have made Miami at one point, but right now there's no Miami. So motherfuckers do want to see Evelyn come on wherever franchise of Basketball Wife she can get on. Evelyn is always going to be a wanted character, period. She makes good TV. She's fine. She makes good media. She always got some shit going on. She's always messing with somebody. Right now, even her daughter in... in headlines for having a baby with the game. Like people are always going to want to see Evelyn. Jackie, Jackie, ain't nobody taken away from the fact that you make the LA franchise. You've been there from ground zero and you know, she's kind of the godmother of that damn franchise. So I don't think either of them want to be beefing with them because, or beefing with the other because they also know that they got skeletons in the closet that the other one can keep pulling out at any moment. So I did appreciate seeing them sit down and be able to kind of hash out what the hell they got going on. And just saying, look, I'm so, Jackie did try to, you know, throw Sunday under the bus. And I wish they would go ahead and bring Sunday back. They might have it in the works. But I wish they would go ahead and bring Sunday back because I want to hear her side of this story. Jackie just said, you know, yeah, I was talking about y'all. But what was going on was I was feeling a certain type of way. And I'm sitting here venting to somebody that I thought was my friend. And there's nothing wrong with that. See, here's the thing. Typically, there's nothing wrong with that. If you get mad at one of your friends and you go vent to another friend, I've said this before on previous episodes, it should not be anything wrong with that. The only thing that makes there become a problem is when you going below the belt or when you saying stuff like she using her dead daughter to make money or she can't even have no kids no more and so what's she on her for unless she gonna try to uh, have a baby with IVF or something and you know this woman has had cancer before and she can't have kids when you start saying stuff like that that hit below the belt that is when people turn against you it's not because of the fact that you are venting to a friend and um all of them understand that because all of them have had situations where they've been to friends you know brooke and evelyn all the time are talking about what brandy done did what this one done did what another one done did to piss them off that's just what you do in friendship and anybody who sits up and say well i don't do that with my friends well you're a lie because you've done that at some point it might not be and you might not recognize it because it might not be um like what's the word it's not blatant it's not like you're doing it to be malicious. You're just doing it because you're venting about a frustration that you've had with a friend. And there's nothing wrong with that. But Jackie, she needed to take accountability with the fact that she did say some of these horrible things. That I'm glad that she did that. And apologized to Evelyn. Which in turn caused Evelyn to apologize to her. And they kind of squashed it. Evelyn did get too big for her britches and invite Jackie to Mexico. I do feel like she owed the other ladies a say so in that. Um, you weren't the only one planning this trip. Jen is planning this trip with you, um, apparently. So I think at, at best you should have talked it over with Jen and asked Jen if she would have been okay with Jackie coming. You even sprung it on her. You know, Jackie has apologized to you, but she hasn't apologized to everybody else. And that's also going to come up a little bit later. That's why the ladies are still kind of mad. Um, 
Jackie also denies the prostitution, y'all. <laughs> Did we think there would be any other things she would do? Did we really think Jackie would come on here and say, yeah, I was, I was old hooker. I was tootin' and no. Y'all knew Jackie wasn't gonna come on here and admit to nothing like that, so I really was not shocked when she sat up and said that she would go to the police. Girl, you know she's not going to make you do that now. You are very calculated. You made it a point to go apologize to her and grovel and all that shit first before then you brought up the prostitution comment. Because now, what does she look like saying, well, Jackie, yeah, I want to go down to the police station with you and let them run your motherfucking prints and see if it really was you. Yeah, I actually do. And then we can kind of be friends. That's not going to happen because then you're going to get up and storm the fuck out. She can't do that now. You've disarmed her so it just really don't make any sense for you to have even mentioned it but we all saw the damn charges and we saw that your ass was convicted so jackie it just is what it is um moving right along it's a day of evelyn's maxi dress event the ladies start to arrive um everybody looks good brooke still got a fucking attitude with brandy one thing about brooke uh, and I hate to even really say anything bad about Brooke because I actually really like Brooke, but I feel like Brooke is getting feeling like she's like one of the stars of the season and they're kind of setting it up to be like that because Brooke does have a lot going on. She just went through the divorce. She lost her daughter. She got the son that um mentally challenged it looked like and he had the baby on the way. Like Brooke got more going on than anybody else in the cast, honestly. And I can understand why they're kind of putting her in the forefront, but I feel like she's starting to smell herself with that. So it's just shit she's doing. Like now she holding this grudge against Brandy. Brandy and them come up and they like, come on, y'all, let's go over here and take a picture. Once they all arrive, Brooke's sitting up and looking stupid. Didn't even want to get up out of her seat. Which caused the other ladies to come over and start asking her. So, Brooke, you don't want to get up and go take a picture? She's like, no. And it's just like, why do you have to be like that? You know, like, Brooke, Brandy also feels that y'all have tension. She's not stupid to it. She knows that there's something going on, but she's being cordial. And, you know, just being like, look, we had an event. Come on, let's take a picture. Here you are sitting around and you pouting. And I just don't like that for you. Um, they sit around, they starting to talk or whatever. They ask Jen about this whole restitution situation and she just really don't know what the fuck she's talking about either, y'all. The reason she don't, why, is because none of it is real. Um, the only thing she knows is the little shit that Christian is telling her. And it is crazy when she starts explaining the situation and she starts saying, you know, like, oh, it was a domestic violence situation. He wouldn't let the girl leave. He's trying to say, oh, stay here so we could talk about that. Great. Don't matter what the hell he's saying. He is preventing somebody from leaving. And you're not even realizing that you saying He's fucking guilty of whatever the fuck it is he did as far as keeping this girl hostage. If it was like holding somebody captive or whatever the charge was, you just sat here and admitted it because he didn't want to let her leave. I don't give a damn what you want to talk about. If I'm telling you I'm ready to go, get your ass away from this dough and let me the hell up out of here or we going to have a damn problem. And that's what it sounds like happened. Don't nobody give a damn Christian look good. Get your ass out the way. I want to get the fuck up out of her. And that's precisely why he went to jail. And Christian had to have done a whole lot of other shit for him to have been in jail the amount of time he was in jail and still have to get out and pay restitution. We have learned since then, since the show started earning, that it's not as much as he's telling her he has to pay, but he still has to pay restitution nonetheless. So it's just ridiculous. But I was like flabbergasted when Jen made comments like, you know, um... It was just a really silly situation. And at the end of the day, he should have just let her go and get hit by a car. Or, and it's just like, girl, you don't even realize what you're saying. Brooke's daughter was hit by, you know, she was in a car. She wasn't hit by a car, but she was in a bad car accident. And that's how she was killed. And Evelyn has went through domestic violence and you sitting up downplaying the domestic violence aspect of his story. It's just really crazy. And I really was surprised that they was all just sitting there letting her talk about this shit. But honestly, I think that they all think she's stupid and nobody wants to say it out loud. That's the only thing. Um, Evelyn's fashion show happens. All the girls look good. Some of the dresses were really nice, but this is what I'm saying. I feel like 
for her to launch a maxi dress line, if she really gave a fuck about this and really put love into it, her maxi dresses would have been fat. Okay. They used to wear some of the cutest dresses back in the day before maxi dresses were even in. And I feel like Evelyn could have really made this be, she should have did that shit before she was doing leggings honestly but if you don't have the passion behind it like you have the passion behind something else it ain't gonna work that's the only thing but the fashion show was nice now um as they're sitting around evelyn does tell them that she met with jackie and jackie apologized to her specifically not to the group as a collective but she lets them know that she also invited jackie and cheyenne to mexico and everybody's shocked. And I was proud of them for this because a lot of the times I be feeling like they don't hold Evelyn to the fire like they hold other people to the fire. But they got in Evelyn ass. They like, you know, what the hell's wrong with you? Especially Brooke. You know, for you to be so close with Evelyn and, you know, Evelyn coming back telling you all the shit Brandy's saying and, and turning you and Brandy against each other. Kind of, hold on. I ain't even realizing what I'm saying, but it kind of looked like Evelyn starting a whole lot of motherfucking shit this season. Golly. But um, running back telling Brooke what Brandy's saying and what she's telling Jen, who is a part of the circle, and she's going to find out anyway, making it seem like y'all, they was really talking about that girl. You need to also hold Evelyn to the fire as well when she do something wrong. Because like you keep saying, Evelyn knows all the shit that you done went through with Jackie. And for her to turn around and not even tell you what she's going to do and just invite her. All because they had a sit down. Didn't even tell you she was going to have a sit down with her. Had to sit down and invited her. Y'all need to question her motherfucking ass just like y'all would question anybody else. For real. Evelyn over there. Feeling the pressure. She don't really know how to answer. Before she can figure it out, Brooke jump up and storm out. She like, I'm about to go. I'll see y'all later. And I'm taking back uh, whatever it was that she bought, honey. Brooke said she was finna snatch that shit up off the gift table and take it back. Then Evelyn said she was finna go too. And you might as well, honey. Because everybody's pissed at this point. Now, Jen meets with Laura Govine. I was so fucking shocked because I just knew the person she was going to meet with was Sunday because Sunday has been tying into um, the plot this whole season with the whole recording calls shit with Jackie. But let me tell y'all this. I am here for Laura coming back. If y'all are OG watchers, like I said earlier in the show, then y'all know who Laura and Gloria Gavon was. They kind of was the pioneers of the LA season. They were on here. They had a whole beef situation going on with Shawnee and Evelyn and all of them. So I love to see her coming back. And baby, I'm going to tell you what. I was shocked that it was Jen bringing her back. They basically talking all the drama they've been going on within the group. And Jen asked Laura to come to the trip with her. Laura, um, a couple of seasons ago when she was still on the show, she did some foul shit. Whereas she sat down with Shanice, Jackie's daughter. I think that's her name. I might be wrong, y'all. But she sat down with Jackie's daughter and they were basically talking about how Jackie raised her. And the shit that Jackie did wrong. And Laura wants to take accountability and she feels like, you know, that was wrong of her to do. I'm sure that now having kids growing up of her own, she's looking at it like, damn, I would feel bad. I would be fucked up if my child would ever go sit down with another bitch and talk about me like that. It don't matter what the fuck we got going on in the house whole but we need to talk about that together so i love that she's coming at least showing some type of vulnerability and taking some sort of accountability um and she did agree to come on the trip i'm excited to see that shit now the ladies they arrive in mexico specifically evelyn brandy jocille jen and brooke they all get there first Jackie and Cheyenne, they come shortly after. Cheyenne lets it be known that she's nervous about seeing Brooke because y'all know them bitches done got into it around the Cheyenne's event a couple episodes ago. And they haven't really been around each other since. So um, that's another thing that I'm sure Brooke feels a way up towards Evelyn for. You know I just got into it with Cheyenne as well. And you had the nerve to even tell Jackie she could bring this bitch. This is absolutely crazy. Um, They have a band to serenade them as they basically arrive to pick their room. And once they do, Jackie and Cheyenne kind of leave and go about their business. And all the other ladies are sitting there talking to Evelyn and basically picking her brain and asking her why in the hell she invited these two in the first place. So Evelyn started getting defensive. And my whole thing of it is she gets mad because Brandy is the one asking the most questions and kind of holding her to fire, under the fire the most. And what she does is 
pull a Jackie and brings up Brandy husband. And really, it had nothing to do with nothing. Like Brandy was saying, her husband and their situation had nothing to do with this situation. But Evelyn was trying to make it seem like, okay, bitch, I forgave Jackie just like you be forgiving your husband when he be out here cheating on you. And that's a fucking low blow. Evelyn, because as many niggas as you done been connected to out here and as much shit and cheating and you possibly mistressing that we've heard about you, it's low blows when we bring that shit up, especially about Ocho Cinco. We bring up some shit about him and it's going to be a court case. You know what I'm saying? And that's dead ass wrong for you to do that girl like that, especially like she said a couple episodes ago, she was just sitting there talking to you and telling you about why. She was insecure about speaking about her relationship amongst the group because she think y'all use that shit against her. You dead ass wrong for that. And I was so happy that all the girls, including Jocelyn, were holding Evelyn to the fire to the point where she had to get up and leave, as she should. Because you dead ass wrong, Evelyn, for real. Um, Now, they go to dinner. The dinner setup is beautiful. Jackie and Evelyn are the first two to arrive and Cheyenne slowly follows. So Evelyn basically just catching them up and letting them know that the girls are not happy with her for inviting them to on the trip. And um, Jackie is getting a chance to basically get prepped. I'm not going to lie. This is odd. This whole click up between them now is odd. I can see Evelyn forgiving her. But all of this, you becoming super cool with her, it is odd. And I'm not even going to hold you. They have a right to feel how they want to feel about you becoming friends with Jackie at this point. That just really is what it is. The other girls start coming. Everybody's sitting down. It's the end of the episode. But baby, before it can go off, you see Jen coming in with Laura. And Jackie looking like she finna choke on that motherfucking mint mojito she was drinking. Okay? It might have been a lime margarita. It might have been a mint mojito. But whatever it was, it was finna be gagging her. Because she didn't know what the hell to think. Like I said, she's already still having smoke with her. Because she sat down and talked to her daughter on some negative shit about her. So I'm so curious to see next week how the conversation between jackie and laura gonna go but y'all get down in these comments and let me know that y'all watch the show this week and what did y'all like about it did y'all think it was boring are y'all here for evelyn and her motherfucking antics when it comes to forgiving jackie or are y'all team brooke make sure y'all like the video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on because y'all know y'all don't want to miss when i come back with the next one